Hey dudes and dudettes, it's Simon Hurley and welcome to another video. It's been a little while, but I am so excited to be back. We are in my temporary craft space and I'm definitely going to be sharing a little bit of a tour and how I kind of organized this because it's definitely a little bit smaller. So I wanna share that with you guys very soon. But in today's video, we are doing another Simon Hurley Create Monthly Challenge. And today I'm going to be sharing some really fun acrylic block watercolor techniques using my Simon Hurley Create inks. If you guys are inspired by today's video and create some cards using my Simon & Hurley Create products this month, be sure to tag us on Instagram using the hashtag SHCreatedToCreate, and that'll enter you into this month's challenge for some prizes. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So this technique is super simple. It just involves some different size acrylic blocks, some fun shapes. I'm gonna start off with this circle acrylic block and I'm gonna start off with my inks. So all I do is go in with a couple different colors of inks. Here I'm using Guppy and I'm just going to add it onto my acrylic block. Give it lots of pressure so you get a bunch of that color down on there. Then I'll go in with a little bit of Prom Queen. You wanna make sure that you're choosing colors that are going to blend together nicely. So, you know, that orange is gonna go really nicely into the pink. And then we're going to go in with a little bit of Crown Me on the opposite side. And that's going to be a great blend with the pink color. And here I'm going to load up my acrylic block with water here so that it blends and bleeds together really nicely. And then I'm going to place it down on my card. And you can really choose where you want it. I think I'm gonna do this one pretty front and centered. So I'm just going to lay that down. And depending on how much water you have in here, that will be how long it takes to dry. All right, so now we just wait. You wanna leave your acrylic block on here for a little while so that it seeps into the cardstock. I'm using my Simon Hurley Create Stark White cardstock and I find that it seeps in pretty darn quickly, which is a nice feature of it. I don't love using watercolor cardstock for this technique because I find that it takes a little bit too long to seep into the cardstock. All right, so once I pull this off, you'll notice a little bit of texture and a little bit of excess color in the top there, and I'll just lift that off with some paper towel. And I love how this one looks. Now I have this cool acrylic block with these kind of ridges along the edge, and I thought that that would be a really fun texture to use as well. Really, you can use any piece of plastic like this, so just find ones with kind of cool edges and textures that you want to bring in and use. Here, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Psych. I love that kind of lime green color. And I'm gonna add it in a couple different areas instead of doing just stripes like we did last time. Then I'll go in with a little bit of Clear Skies. I'll kind of throw some of that color into here. I wanna bring in a little bit of Midnight Snack as well. I love that kind of dark navy. And then finally, I'll bring in a little bit of Fake Plant in the center. Once I've got all of these colors down, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of water again. This time I'll use a little bit less water because I wanna kind of show how that works as well. So I'm just going to stamp this down onto my cardstock and press it down. Now when you use a little bit less water, it's not gonna seep out alongside of the edges and you can also kind of press it down to get some of that color moving around and blending a little bit more. This also makes it so that I can lift it off a lot earlier than I did with the last one. So I'm gonna give it a couple seconds to sit in here and dry and once I have, I'm going to kind of carefully lift this off and you can kind of you know, manipulate it a little bit and move around some of that color. So if I want to, I can bring some of that all around here. Then here I just have a rectangle that's gonna fit perfectly onto there as an acrylic block. And then I'm going to use some fall colors for this one. So I'll go in with a little bit of bee sting here. I wanna bring in a little bit of that darker red too. So I'll bring in some game over right at the bottom. And I've been super inspired by the fall leaf colors. They look so amazing and beautiful. Um, so I'll go in with a little bit of guppy. And then finally, I'll bring in a little bit of Psych at the top, which is that really nice kind of yellowish green color, which I love. I'm going to water this down, so I'm just going to spray that with a bunch of water, and then we can line it up and stamp it down onto our surface. And again, you can kind of press it down to move and mix some of those colors together, and then give it a little time to kind of sit and dry in place. Once I lift off that acrylic block, I'll get rid of some of the excess color on the edge there, and that creates just such a beautiful background once you're complete. 
All right, I love these kind of cool abstract shapes that these create, whether you have those kind of wavy edges, the circle acrylic blocks, or just normal squares. Sometimes I find it to be a little bit difficult to get this really simple, effortless watercolor blend, and I find that those acrylic blocks and ink pads make it really, really easy to do. So now let's go in and finish these cards with some stamps and show you guys my favorite easy way to finish these off for quick cards. All right, so I'm starting off with my trick or treat stamp set. I love this one and I'm going to finish it off really quick and easily with one of the images. So I'm going to use the little fairy girl. I'll grab some archival ink and ink it up and then I'm going to stamp it down. And I love using black ink on this for a really nice and bold effect. And I don't even go in and color these guys in. That's one of my favorite parts about it. Since this color is so, so bold on there, that black and white on there, as well as the super cool colored background, adds just enough color for me and I don't find that I need to add a bunch more. And I also, another tip, is I like to kind of let things hang over the edge. I find that that adds a really cool look to it as well, you know, to kind of play on that cool colored circle and have some of it going outside. For this blue and green one, I want to use this fun slam dunk basketball stamp set. I love this one and could not wait to use it. So I'll start off with the hoop and ink that up. And then I'm going to, again, stamp that kind of in the corner there, hanging off that color, of course. Then I'm going to grab the bear from that stamp set because he's going in for a slam dunk. And then I'll stamp it down onto my card. And again, kind of, you know, let it hang off the edge there and stamp it down. And then I'm just going to use the you did it sentiment as just a super encouraging sentiment for the card. And that one is all complete. Now for this last one, I said the colors were super inspired by leaves, so I wanted to use my Nature Hike background stamp. And this one is a peel apart, so all these different leaves kind of come apart from that stamp. And I'm going to use them to stamp my background today. And to finish this one off, I'm just going to stamp these leaves down and make sure they kind of overlap over that edge. I think that's a super important part to making these cards extra special and adding some interest to them. One of my favorite sentiments, the you are such a blessing, is from this doodle floral stamp set. And I'm going to just use this to finish off the card that we created. And here is a great tip, if you have some areas in your image that didn't fully stamp because you didn't get enough ink on it or didn't press down hard enough, I love these little fine liner pens to go in and fix any details, especially because it's like the end of a card and we don't want to have to throw it away, right? All right, here are the finished cards. I just love how they turned out, how simple they are with just that black stamping on that watercolor background, but I absolutely love how easy it is to use an acrylic block to get that really beautiful watercolor look on each one of these. All right, I hope you guys try out today's technique and again, use the hashtag SHCreated to create if you wanna share it on social media media to be entered to win a prize. Also, be sure to text me. I have a personal phone number now, and there I'll give out deals, and new video notifications, and sneak peeks, as well as just chit-chatting with you guys one-on-one, -on -one, which is so much fun. Leave a comment down below which one of these cards were your favorite. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and never want to miss another video like this one from me. All right, guys, I'll see you very, very soon for another card-making and crafting video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.